This is a routinely recorded ECG from a patient with alcohol dependency. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 66 beats per minute. The rhythm is atrial fibrillation. The rhythm is clearly chaotic, i.e. irregularly irregular, with fibrillation waves seen on the baseline. The axis is normal, with an upgoing complex in lead 1 and 2. The QRS duration is normal at less than 3 small squares. There are no pathological Q waves present. There are no diagnostic ST changes. The T wave is biphasic in lead V3 and is inverted in leads V4, 5 and 6. In summary, this 12 lead ECG recorded from a patient with high alcohol consumption shows atrial fibrillation with a controlled ventricular rate and some lateral T-wave inversion. The T-wave abnormalities may represent ischemia, or perhaps a structurally abnormal heart. The absence of symptoms would suggest the latter is more likely. One final note, the baseline in lead V1 shows what could be misinterpreted as organised atrial activity in the form of flutter waves. The waves, however, are not large enough and not regular enough to be convincingly flutter waves, and these are probably just large fibrillation waves. The differential diagnosis of atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter with variable block is quite common, and patients certainly spend some time in one rhythm and sometimes the other. Both atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter can be manifestations of alcoholic cardiomyopathy.